Russ Hess. Hey, I just wanted to talk to you candidly about those things that you're going for. What are you going for? What are you aspiring to do this year? Um, you know, how do you step into that? We're already into March. We're looking at springtime here. And what differences have you made so far? Yeah, you've gotten through the the uh, New Year's resolution, I'm sure. You've already stopped doing, you know, a hundred things that uh, you, you promised you were going to do. And uh, now you're left with the wreckage of trying to put some kind of focus on where it is you're going from here on out. You got summer coming up, you know. Uh, how do you manage all that? You know, I'm not for sure how you're going to manage all that, to be, be honest. But you do need to have some kind of focus, some kind of vision to where you're heading, where you're wanting to go. My thought is that you need to have some kind of mentor or some kind of person that you can look up to that is going to hold you accountable for those things that you're needing and wanting to go for. You know, somebody that can stand there, not judge you, but somebody that can actually offer you some assistance, some synergy towards getting where you want to go. You know, it takes two people, you know, working on a similar project to really, you know, make a difference. Now, you're not going to have all the answers yourself. You're not going to be able to, you know, kick your own butt, so to speak, especially if you're standing on one foot, right? So how does that happen? Well, you know, you find somebody that you can work with, somebody that is going to help you be a sounding board somebody that is going to allow you to vent and talk but in the same token allow you to see the focus that they're really needing and going after you know I can't imagine what it's like not ever figuring out what you need to do in order to succeed uh, you keep trying you keep uh, you keep poking at that vulnerability those weaknesses that you have keep stabbing at them keep trying to figure out how to improve how to make yourself stronger how to make yourself physically stronger you know in my case I have found out that uh, I tire really quickly and so I'm going to have to do some cardiovascular training I've worked pretty good on getting my uh, upper body and weight loss has been really in check so I've got that good but you know my cardiovascular system has just not been what it needed to be and so I I'm gonna have to step into that I'm gonna have to join a gym I'm gonna have to start doing some cardiovascular training I'm just gonna have to get after it as well I have not been eating as well as I need to and uh, some protein levels are uh, not what they need to be. In other words, um, my nutrition has not been what it needs to be in order to build muscle. So I'm going to have to start working on eating better and exercising more. And not that I've got excess weight. That's not the case here. What it is is that I um, am needing to build up my cardiovascular system and as well as my stamina in you know, being able to run and jog and ride a bike and that kind of thing because I tire really quickly and that's uh, the difficulty that I'm having right now so and you know among other things I'm sure that there are areas other areas of my life that I've overlooked you know in the finances uh, everywhere else to be honest so I'm just going to step into that I'm going to use this this um, cardiovascular training as my pinpoint for moving forward and I'm going to use that as my template so to speak 
in improving other areas of my life. So with that said, this is Russ Hess, RussHess.com, open talk. We'll see you on the next video.